hello guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to allow the user to put in the inputs for your expert advisor in other words i'm showing you how to make expert advisor that will allow the change of inputs like as you can see here you have this kind of auto trading robot you are not allowed to put any input and then you have this kind of auto trading robot where you are allowed to change things here you can see this one you can change so i'm going to show you how to make your auto trading robot do that okay so especially if you want to change things like a uh, lot size without even going to create another one or going to open a code so please give me a like as i begin to do this give me a like please so what you do you can see here this is the empty one if you want to create a symbol you come to new template and then you can just write I'll, I'll say inputs to make things simple i'll say inputs yeah and then next 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 finish and then i'm going to put everything on in it okay okay since i'm not putting anything so we'll just be doing the variables okay let me compile my my auto trading robot it's the name is inputs you can see here if you check here here is my auto trading robot drop it on the chat allow whatever there's no input that is allowed you just put it there but then i want this auto trading robot to have inputs okay so first thing first i can just say <coughs> if you want the input first thing you must uh, show that this is the input okay you say input and then you put the type int and then you give the name let's say i'll say load size and then you give default value and says 10 okay let's see if i did everything right yes now what happens is that we have input you can see here you can change this anytime you want okay you can change this anytime you want you can change here so it's simple as that you can just put the word input with small letters and then give your input a type and then now you give the default value let me remove the default value and check what happens combine no errors then let's let me double click my auto trading robot okay it's still saying 10 but technically it's zero okay let me put another robot so that i can verify that uh where it was input as soon as you place it on the chart it will say input it will say zero because now there's nothing there you can also even change this to a string you know you can give your robot the input of string let me compile and check because when there's nothing it says zero i want to see what it says okay it says a b c so it won't say nothing but you can still type anything anything that you type here will be taken as the input for your robot whatever that you type will be placed to this one okay so thank you give me a like please and then so that i can make more videos because if you don't give me a like it means you don't like the videos and then i won't be able to make more so give me a like and give me a subscribe sharp